Hey guys, it's Nikki, and I'm back again. Okay, for another review. Um, this is going to be a re juice review and then a first impressions on something I just got. Um, I've only had it for a couple of days, so it's just going to be a first impressions, kind of what I think about it right off the bat. Um, so yeah, let's dive right in. The juice I'm going to do is by Suicide Bunny. It is derailed. Um, I love this juice. Um, I've vaped it before, um, and I really liked it, so I figured I'd do a little review, tell you what it tastes like, um, and so yeah, let's vape it. So, I've got derailed in my Aspire Atlantis. Um, it is 0.5 ohm, their coil, their sub-ohm coil, um, 34 watts at, uh, 4.4 volts on the Cigali 100 watt. So this juice is really, it's good, but it's kind of weird at the same time. Um, it's definitely a, um, a cookie, like a, um, uh, what's, what's a, what are those cookies called? Um, snickerdoodle, like a snickerdoodle cookie, um, and you kind of get that because it's got like a, like almost, I don't know how to explain it, it, it tastes like a, sh like a snickerdoodle cookie, and it's got like a banana, um, with a little bit of cinnamon in there, which is really odd. But the flavors blend really well, um. The, you get the banana on the exhale and that cookie and cinnamon on the inhale, um, which is kind of, it's, it makes for a really good vape. I'm a big fan of banana, so that banana exhale is, I love it. And then, um, I've been vaping a lot of cinnamon. Um, like that sweet cinnamon, I don't like the spicy cinnamon, and this is a sweet cinnamon. So, um, and it pairs really well with that snickerdoodle kind of sugary cookie. And it vapes great. Um, it's definitely, I believe it's probably like a 60 VG. It's a little thicker. Um, it's a little bit thicker than a 50-50 blend which is nice. Um, it definitely um, helps with vapor production. Um, it's just an all-around great vape. It's definitely a baked goods kind of vape because um, you get that cookie um, with the banana and the cinnamon. It's definitely more of like a baked goods kind of um, vape. So if you, if you are um, if you liked the baked goods, you know, cookies and the pies and that kind of stuff, this would be a really good one for you to try. Um, and Suicide Bunny is a great line. Um, they've, their mother's milk is really good. I've mentioned it in a couple of other videos. I vaped that exclusively for a long time, a couple months, um, until I, you know, moved on to other things and really got into trying new things and trying new flavors for the hell of it. Um, but this, this derailed is delicious. It's funny because I almost pick up a little bit of like a, a nutty taste. Um, but I don't, I don't know. It's, it's really interesting how all these flavors blend together. It's, it's so tasty. Mm. Okay, so I will read you the description for this juice, um, and it says, um, Derailed is a fresh baked cookie wrapped in a sweet cinnamon banana exhale. The smell alone will have you craving more, which that's exactly what this is. It's um, the primary flavors um, they list is snickerdoodle cookie, cinnamon, and banana. Those are the primary flavors. I still feel like there's some sort of hint of a, a like a nut, like maybe, I, I'm not sure, but there's definitely like maybe a hint of hazelnut. I'm not, I'm not a hundred percent, but I, I get that. Um, it's not every time I vape it, but every once in a while I'll take a, a drag off of it and I get that kind of nutty in there.
it's so delicious. Um, so, I got my cheat sheet. <laughs> Um, you can get this off skylinevapor.com, which I'll post that in the description. Um, but it comes in, um, Nick level 0, 06, 12, and 18 milligrams of nicotine. Um, you could drip this. I, I've dripped it before and it's excellent. I've got it in the, um, Atlantis. It's great. I've had it in my K-Fun. I've put it, I mean, I've vaped this in everything and it's great. Um, now, the cool thing about Skyline Vapor is you can order this in different size bottles. So um, you can get the 15 milliliter bottle to try it, you know, um, as like a starter. Um, so that way you don't drop a whole lot of money on a juice that you're not going to, you know, that you don't like. I've had that happen before. It's a pain in the butt. Um, but anyways, 15 mils is $12.50. 30 mils is $22. Dollars and 120 mils of derailed will run you 80 bucks, which is not bad. It's it's really not. Um, 22 bucks for 30 mils is I think right about the norm for good premium wine juice. Um, it's definitely it's I I bought it. You know I've bought it in the past. It's definitely worth the 22 bucks um, if it fits your fav flavor profile. <laughs> Um, but I would definitely recommend, you know, picking up that 15 mil bottle first, just so, just in case you don't like it, you know, cause it is an interesting flavor. Um, but it's, I love it. Um, with that cinnamon and the banana and that little, that, that sugar cookie or snicker, snick, it's more of a snickerdoodle cookie in the beginning, but that cookie baked goods in the very beginning of the vape, it's great. So let's talk about the packaging, the bottle it comes in. So there, um, Suicide Bunny's got this awesome, you know, label with the chick. She looks pretty badass, not going to lie. Um, it does have the glass dropper top, which is great. Um, and it is childproof, which that's a thumbs up in my book. I am very happy that it's got the, the childproof lock. I really think that all juices, like if you're a juice company and you're putting juice out there, you really need to have the child safety lock on there. It's just, come on. There's nicotine in here. But anyways, aside from my rant, um, they do have the warning on here. Keep away from children and pets. Store in a cool, dark place. Um, but that's really it. There's no, um, you know, what's in it, you know. But I know Suicide Bunny, um, they use, they use um, premium, you know, ingredients in their juices. Um, but yeah, it's just a clear, clear glass bottle. I really like the, the labeling they have on it. I think she looks badass. So yeah, that's, that's pretty much derailed. It's just a great baked goods vape with that cinnamon and that twist of banana in there. Um, it's just a great vape. Okay, so I want to do a quick first impressions. Um, and that's on this little guy, the Derringer, um, this Derringer RDA. I was, this is the first RDA that I have gotten in the last couple of months that has made me break out a mech mod. Um, this is the first time I've had a mech mod on my, on, on one of my videos. Um, this is the Manhattan mod. Um, I'll probably, maybe, maybe do a review on the Manhattan mod. Probably not though. Um, I, I got it right before all the drama happened with the Vape. Uh, um, that was all just craziness, but for a mech mod, it is pretty great. I love the heftiness of it because it's so solid and it's heavy. Like if I was walking in a, in a you know, dark alley in Chicago, I could easily turn and crack somebody up against the head with it, and, and, and it would kill them. This thing is just sturdy. And the other thing, I you know, I really like there's no messing with the battery. But anyways, the Derringer. This thing is a beast in a tiny package. I mean, I was a little skeptical because of how small it is, but... It's a little cloud chucker. I was completely thrilled with this. Um, I'm not going to lie. I really like it. It was easy to build on. Um, super easy to build on. I've got just dual coils. I'm pretty sure it came out to like 
0.14 um, ohms, but you got a nice little three post design there. Um, you know, it was just super simple to build on, which I was really pleased with. Um, and there's literally three parts to it. You've got the deck, this little ring, and then your top cap just slips right over there. I leave the, the airflow wide open just because it is such a small little little addy. Um, and I obviously put my own drip tip on here. I know some people rock it without the drip tip. Um, just like that. And I was afraid I was going to burn my face. <laughs> so I put just a standard 510 drip tip on there. And it's great. Now I have um, Cutwood Sugar Bear in here, so it is a little higher VG, um, but it's been good. So I'm just completely, at this point, thrilled with it. It's been such a great little vape. The only issue, and it's not even with the, um, I don't even think it's with the Derringer, I think it's with, uh, there we go, didn't want to fire. I think uh, I've been having issues where sometimes it doesn't fire, um, but I think that's uh, I think that's the uh, Manhattan's issue um, because the battery it sits on a magnet. Um, it just it sits on the magnet. I think it just moves maybe a little bit and it doesn't make connection um, because it. You get that battery rattle in there because there's nothing holding that battery in place except for that bottom magnet. But I am quite impressed with this little Derringer. Um, there will definitely be a full review coming, I would say, probably in two weeks. Um, I really want to put it through its paces before I go ahead, like anything else, and put a review out there. There will be a review coming up on the uh, Atlantis as well. Um, but I want to put it that through its paces as well because I I had some issues when I with it when I first got it, and I was not happy with it at all. But I kind of changed a couple of things, and um, so far it's been it's been pretty good. Mixing the cinnamons, um, <laughs> but yeah. So that's my review on Derail by Suicide Bunny, which. If you liked baked goods, you like a cinnamon with a banana twist at the end, um, it definitely, that banana twist keeps it interesting, keeps it kind of new. Um, that's a recommend for me. I would, um, I would start with the 15 mils first, obviously, um, with any juice that, you know, you're not, you, you know, start, get a smaller bottle, obviously, first. Um, because a lot of those premium juices can get real expensive real fast. Um, but yeah, and my first, uh, kind of thoughts and opinions on this little, this little, this little guy. Um, I'm just, so, I'm just, I can't believe something so small can put out clouds like that. I mean, granted, I did build really well on it. Um, but still, and the thing is also is that the flavor on it has been phenomenal. Um, but that I believe has to do with how small it is. You know, there's not a lot of room for that vapor to kind of, you know, the, it's great on flavor. Um, but anyways, I will, uh, I'll do a full review on it in a couple weeks. So stay tuned for that. And I wanted to throw in this video also that EVOD giveaway I'm doing, um, I kind of didn't really put it out there, but, you know, if you're an advanced vapor and you don't need that EVOD kit, I totally get that. You know, it's one of the reasons, you know, that, you know, I'm giving it away because I, I don't need it either and I want to help somebody else. So you can still enter in the contest even if you, you want to win it for somebody else. Um, I've had a couple of entries that are like that. Um, so even if it's not for you and you want to, you know, submit for somebody else, that's totally fine. I, you know, I just want to help somebody make that switch. That's the biggest thing for me. So if you know somebody who, you know, is smoking and thinking about vaping, but they don't necessarily want to, you know, they don't know where to start, give me an email, you know. Um, there's only a couple more days left for this giveaway. I know it was kind of short. It was only, you know, a week or so long, two weeks maybe, I think a week. Um, but, yeah, it was a week from Saturday to Saturday. Um, 
after, you know, there's only a couple more days. So if you know somebody, email me, guys. I mean, it's somebody's going to win it, and I'm super excited um, to, you know, for somebody to, to get this little starter kit and at least get them, you know, the feel for vaping. Um, so, yeah, if you like the video, hit that like button. If you want to see more of my face, hit that subscribe button. Also, um, go check out the, uh, the Facebook page. I'm constantly posting on there. Also, the winner for this contest is going to be posted there. I also do a lot of um, advocacy, you know, with CASA. Those links are all posted there. Um, and so, yeah, go check out the, the Facebook page. You can find that link either in the description or on my YouTube page up in the corner. Um, that's pretty much it, guys. Until next time, vape on.